Uh, welcome to day two of week nine then, started all the six online league and it is a scorcher again here in the UK today and we are racing at York and Goodwood today. So you've got eight races from York split into two groups of four and a four race trip to Goodwood in between the two. So things get underway then at York with the speedsters on show first of all for the Nunthorpe Stakes which is one of the big sprints of the season of course group one and two steps is the top rated horse in this one for Steve Rand but Cove Blue three wins out of the last four We'll be giving that one plenty to think about. And also, wonderful roses. Another Steve Rand horse. He's in there as well. So, plenty in there with good form. Should be a good race. Lickety split. Blink and you miss it, as they say. Great start to get day two underway. Then we got the curiousness of two races with exactly the same name following each other just to confuse everybody the first one is a sky bet handicap over a mile and a half that's a 0 to 110 django's got the top rated in that bad apple but molly at surface 101 badaming he's never too far away is it in kempton for kyle arrogante it looks like it could well be in the mix as well then the second sky bet handicap is a seven furlong race 0 to 80 and this time vinnie gerard has somehow snuck one in there on 80 Boju Blandio and also David Robertson's got Spanish steps on 80 as well. But Kingtown Phillips and Darren Houses the winner last time out, and that one looks like it could be in with a chance. But this is going to be a race of controversy, isn't it? Because there are about 700 runners, and it's going to be a bit of a nightmare around that turn. So if you're drawn wide, you probably might as well stay at home. Probably need to be looking at something about this next year, maybe framing a second seven furlong race, which is either a 0 to 70 or a 0 to 90, so we can get half of these runners into a different race and also maybe change the name of one of the Skybet handicaps as well so that one of them is called something a little bit different. Then the final race at York and the first visit will be the Bet Victor Nurseries. This is a six furlong 0 to 90 for two year olds and once again Django is the man to focus on in this one. He's got Lunchbox Legend and Timekeeper with the top two in the ratings but Boju Hesito for Vinnie Gerrard was a winner last time out, an Irish beat for Alex Cherry. has also got some pretty good looking form, so again, that one should be a pretty good race. Big field again in that one, but it should be uh, should be on the straight course, so it shouldn't be too much of a problem. We'll then move over to Goodwood for four good races from there, the first one of which is the Group 2 Celebration Mile, and again, it's Django. It seems to be Django week this week, doesn't it? Down under is £10 superior to everything else in the field, according to official ratings. Lordy Law for Steve Rand is the second rated, though it hasn't hit the winner's box for some time, and Trick Play 1 million for Molly at Surfer, and Thing of Lunacy for Joshua Sutherland also fancy their chances, but Graham Clutterbuck has got Circus Plume, who's going for a rare three-timer. You don't get many horses winning three races on a trot in the SO6 league, so best to look to Circus Plume and Grey in that one. The next race is race 18, that's the Betfair Cash Out Heritage Handicap, 7 furlongs, 0 to 110, and Joshua Sutherland's got the top horse in this, the Red Dawn Craftwork for Stephen Rand, and then Django again without back, complete the top three, looking down the card, there's a couple down towards the bottom, who must have each way chances, including Graham Clutterbuck again with Jupiter Islands, but once again, this is a huge field, and we know what Goodwood can be like, and that could be another nightmare race. Race 19 is the March Stakes, that's the listed race over one mile and six furlongs, Star Laws for Joshua Sutherland, He's the top rated right here. Slokes the cat for John Morgan. And Morgan Zagai for Darren Thompson. Also looks to be pretty good. And don't forget Smiley Face for Steve Run as well. And Star of David for Paul Rhodes. Hasn't got particularly good looking form. But uh, he's hoping to tune up for a tilt at the St. Ledger in a week or so's time. The final race at Goodwood is the Chichester City Handicap. That's another sprint. A five furlong, one nought to 95. And Lavadas for Darren Thompson is just about the top rated there. Sishi Sarchina for Vinnie Gerard and Weybridge for Kyle Arrogante are rated only a pound inferior. And looking down the card, there's one or two there. I haven't got particularly good looking form, but lucky best for Darren Howes. Does look as though it's going in the right direction and could give the top two, top two or three, the most things to think about. We'll then go back to York for four more races there. A very small field for the Betfred City of York Stokes, which is a listed seven furlong race, two-year-olds. And the River is the top rated one there, rated eight pound better than John Morgan's the True Metropolitan. Mistress Foo for Paul Rhodes only had one run, so it could still be anything. And it'll be interesting to see how that one pans out. Race 22 is the Irish Thoroughbred Jim Crack Stakes and a small field, an unbelievably small field of only five in this. I'm going to ask yourself the question, has the fact that the winner of this race has to give a speech put all the trainers off from entering it because one or two names are missing? Volos for Darren Thompson is top rated by six pounds. Then Hans Jones has got I Am Kira and the 
three below that Shalar Zoom 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 and Humongous oh, rated inferior still so I think we'll um, have a look at that one and see who wins it and then we'll have to get them on here in a week or two's time to give a speech about the state of racing and what they do to change it or whatever they do at the gym crack dinner these days so race 23 then is the bet ready ball handicap always a big handicap it's only a 0 to 100 in so 6 and red rag for david robertson is the top rated in it only at 94 though so one or two maybe could have slipped in there a little bit higher queen fisher drew and starters orders both from the Derek hinton stable will give him a strong hand and finders keepers for serious chill is also rated highly smoke on the waters also a winner recently and could go well there's quite a few in there with chances, but quite a small field for a, a race that normally attracts about 16 or 20, and we've only got about 10 or 12 in it. The final race then on day two is the Julia Graves Roses Stakes. That's another five furlong race, a 0-110 for two-year-olds, and Coolidge is the top rated there for John Morgan, rated a pound better than Zoom to the Moon for Joshua Sutherland. Lickety split for Steve Rowney. We'll be hoping it does go lickety split, as it's got four pounds to find on Coolidge. Thousand steps from Oliette Surfer. He's only rated 98, but the trainer seems to think he's got a good chance. A treat a leap for Stu Gray. He thinks that's something special, and it could go well. And also, Green's my colour for Graham Clutterbuck. has got some pretty good form as well. So that one could be wide open as the top rated horse there doesn't appear to have the best form in the book and right down towards the bottom jr ambitious for james wheeler the winner this season is running off only 55 so that's your day two then we'll be back tomorrow for day three enjoy the racing with doug and tim and i'll see you tomorrow